I don't really like creative eye in general, but and I really like Sunder. So I don't know why I didn't like I did the exact opposite of what I usually would do. I would, didn't take Sunder into creative eye. I'm I'm guess I'm being creative or trying to try doing things. It's not really working out. Sunder was just a pick I should have had no matter what. It's just too good for hallway fights and even good for elite fights when you have preserve insects. Yeah, I still didn't take it. Stevie, what's up, man? You think I'm going wrong with the defense? Yeah, I think defense is one of the issues. I actually had good defense that run, but it was more of... I want to say that's what killed me that last one. It was me not having card draw and not having energy at some point. But card draw was an issue. The Crubber's actually... <laughs> the dog just came out running. Yeah, the, the dog loves to be underneath the covers. They sleep, they sleep under the covers with me. Uh, I hate this fight. For some, so lately I've just been so intrigued by like thin decks that can just recur a lot of things. It's kind of leading me astray. Flamebear, uppercut. I think uppercut is better for the elite fight, but flamebear is very good as well. We're doing uppercut here. Flash of steel removal. Hmm. How crazy would it be to remove bash uppercut uppercut? Tried out. I've never tried this before. Curious. It's typically not good to remove like high damage cards like that at this stage. Early game when two bash can be pretty good. Flame. <laughs> Steve Irwin was a great man. It's a lot of damage we're about to take in our face. Which is why I'm going to do attack potion. Hope for the best. I played the Binding of Isaac, yes, for a brief stint of time. Twin Strike for the Inflame. Now, I believe Uppercut's gonna carry us. Could be wrong. Most likely wrong. Because we don't have any, like, crazy good potions. Uh, I'm gonna start it off. I could have waited for Inflame, but. Mm. Take all the damage. Not bad. Demon form. I'll take it. Why not? Maybe we'll find like a like a havoc or something in head, but How much is this? Not, not enough. Oh, I love who, who signs it anyways. It's a great classic. This is awkward. I'm actually not making progress.
Shock of anger. Didn't we talk about anger in dumping our strength? All that good stuff, all that jazz. Do we like Shockwave better? Because Demon Form is going to kind of carry... Demon Form is going to carry, what's it called? Like, the boss fight against Hexaghost. But is it? Shouldn't we get Anchor for... To ensure that we have strikes against the Hexaghost? We have Shrugit to manage the burns. Maybe between... Yeah, so we'll do Shockwave. Shrugit manage the burns. This fight sucks. Block for seven, take five, or... If I attack this again now, he's gonna beat at two. Which means I can just slack, slap him next fight, next turn and he's dead. Whereas if I leave him at 11, he's much harder to kill. Future on was great. I love Spongebob. Mm, I like Inflame, but... <laughs> yeah, we don't have AoE in this fight right now, in, in our deck. <laughs> Team form in the ground. <laughs> this is so weird. We'll be fine, though. Oh, I didn't check. Oh, it was only nine. Rough artifact. So artifact is good for Gremlin Knob, right? Against his vulnerable. Is this suicidal? It's potentially. Don't want to get vulnerable. We can do skill pot because we're guaranteed lethal next turn. If only did that first. Oh god. I did rage first. Ah, uh, that's okay. Always use potions first, guys. I like battle trance. But I need AoE. Didn't take Whirlwind, by the way. Shockwave is probably better. Yeah, one thing I can look forward to is like, well, that's why you take you take away for fights like this. One thing I can look forward to is um, but, uh, boss fight might be rough as well though. I can imagine birds getting out of control. Headbutt. So headbutt's interesting because if we end up getting like a havoc, we could do headbutt, demon form havoc. What is headbutt doing right now? It's giving me battle trains and uppercut. I like headbutt. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna avoid the shop actively. Because I don't want to, um. Be tempted by the mall bank. Uh, I mean, we've, maybe we've used the shop. But is it our intention to keep mall bank going? What can the shop give me that would. So I think we're fine against Hexagos here. With Demon Form and True Grit and stuff. Oh. I'm so low in life, but I feel like I, I want to do it. I can't afford to mess around here, right? Well, okay, if I mess around and I have to rest, then what upgrade am I giving up? Giving up like a Battle Trance upgrade or a Demon Form upgrade? Easy. Alright, so are we going to live this fight with 12 HP? Now, if we rest... Okay. 
bigger first attack, but we have a little bit more time to live and scale up. If I do demon form upgrade, if I have one bad turn, I, I die. I don't have a lot of block. He's doing 6 damage now, I know, but then he has a turn where he does like 12. I have such a little block that it just takes one turn where I... Let's say I don't get demon form early, right? And then he ends up doing 12 and I don't have enough block. Alright, well I'm dead. And then as soon as he gets a burn in the mix and then I draw like a burn and a couple strikes, I just die. I just have to rest because I don't have the defense. I would like to trigger some strikes though. Maybe triggering strike was a consideration. So we can get demon form out now. We take damage, but it seems like a good turn. Demon form out. While we can. Now that, that was that was the value of resting. Resting basically let me take that hit and get demon form at the same time. I want to do shockwave, but it's not the time, I don't think. So I want to do headbutt because I want to start doing, um... Well, getting headbutt on trigger is fine, but I also want to start doing true grits on strikes. Although, uppercut is too good to not do right now. Trigger and strikes have more consistent defense, but I guess I'll just save it for the burns. Alright, so we're not getting damage out, but we do have a lot of damage scaling up, so twin strikes can be massive. That's, yeah, alright. Doing looking good. Battle Trance? Can... Oh, thank you. I like the headbutt here, because I want to make sure I have more damage. I want to go for lethal, so I'm going to do strike, strike, headbutt. On a strike. Nice. We need to rest because. Okay, so Dark Embrace Berserk double demon form. Now, if I know I'm gonna need Snekawai, give me the demon form, baby. But I think Dark Embrace might be interesting. I actually think Dark Embrace is pretty cool. Hmm. But Zerk is, I guess it's insurance if you don't have the, um, energy relic. I wish I could see the relic. Good Dark Embrace. Can no longer upgrade. Huh. 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 It's fine. I was thinking about Black Star, but I think we we need the energy. I need to go to the shop, but then by doing the shop, I'm forced to go into the elites. It's pretty awkward. So we're gonna have to skip the shop for now. Am I getting value from Dark Embrace? That's not necessarily true. That's not necessarily true. I don't think that's true. Take care, man. SD, take care. You're like, you're not getting back to bridge. I picked it. He's like, I'm out. He picked it. Painful. We'll find Reaper or something. You can get corruption, you can also use blue candle with dark embrace, right? So taking curses doesn't feel as bad when you have blue candle in the mix. And dark embrace as well. Um, true grit can give you the block, exhaust, and draw one. Favorite game to play that I don't... Uh, so even true grit on sentinel with dark embrace seems okay. It's a basic defend for now, but the potential swing, I, that, that may be just forcing synergy too much right there. That, I can see that being totally bad. Okay. 
Favorite game to play that I don't stream? Uh, chess. Chess, maybe. Depends, man. I go in moods. Like, lately, I haven't been even enjoying other games. So like, like, maybe I'll play, um... Like, one time I was playing, like, Civilization VI off, on stream, off stream, playing chess off stream. Do we do direct race and then sense, uh, get rid of sense and all? Sure. And it, uh, I was playing Hades recently, but a lot of the games that I play, I'll play Magic the Gathering off stream. I made a mistake. Now I don't get True Grit. I actually have Lethal. I mean, I don't get Twin Strike. Whoopsies. I got distracted. Does that bite me in the butt? Mm, I'm gonna avoid Whirlwinds. Do we not have AoE in the deck, though? We don't. We don't. Damn. Whirlwind's pretty good. Bag of marbles, right? In, in flame. Yeah. So Dark Embrace is okay in this fight. It's it's costly. The Dark Embrace needs to be upgraded, but I can't upgrade it, right? So I need armaments. But then that's the fact that I can't upgrade. The fact that I can't upgrade Dragon Base kind of sucks a little bit. Hmm. I should probably bring True Grit back, but I'm trying to maybe go for Lethal. I'm not close to Lethal that. Like, I was thinking about Twin Strike, but True Grit is probably the best block that I have. Well, I mean. The card draw is insane, so I feel like we never we never know we have options here. Sixteen. Okay. I uh, would like a feed. I would like a reaper, maybe. Uh, right now we're struggling. So blue candle, like that's okay. Not that bad because I can use the blue candle to get rid of it, and also it can give me centennial puzzle. Which is kind of interesting. This becomes like a draw one. Do one damage, draw one. With Centennial Puzzle available. And then other than that, with Dark Embrace. So, when Dark Embrace is not out, this is do one damage, draw one. Draw three, sorry. And then when Dark Embrace is out, is do one damage, draw one. Again, Max is not back because we can just rest, but... Oh, I'm going to rest regardless. I'm so silly. I just realized I have to rest regardless. I mean, I'll take just for the nifty little Centennial Puzzle trick, but... I forgot that we can't upgrade. Here I can look for like... Now it's just like a whirlwind waiting room. If whirlwind's coming up, which it is, by the time I get it, it's gonna be at 9, plus they're vulnerable, so it's gonna be 13 to each times 4. So I should diversify my damage, so that two of them die. I diversify my damage and it's not gonna matter. So what I could do is like... So I could do... 
battle trance and then get rid of the sentinel and then we do it just like i planned see the trigger sentinel has been very good for us guys i've enjoyed it thoroughly you could argue if i didn't have the sentinel i wouldn't have even drawn that would that would have been the whirlwind slot or something now we got evolved deeper form number two or <laughs> or uh perfected strike <clears throat> Demon for number two. That's very ambitious. Very unnecessary. Evolve. I might just skip. That would do for would be f interesting if I had like headbutt havoc. I have headbutt. I don't really have a way to play Demon form. I don't have mummified hands. I can't really cheat my way into playing Demon form easily. Now, if I do Demon form times two, I can try to look for enlightenment. But again, that's. I'm just, I, I just skip here, guys. I totally forgot that I'm forced to re, uh, recall. So we're going to go for the shop. Toxic Egg is fantastic. So this is three upgraded apparitions. Which doesn't seem bad in a deck that is doing Demon Form to scale. Where I just use apparition to stay alive and then until I... Until I have enough strength. But... Gets rid of max HP. Hmm. Okay, let's say we we wait till we have enough um, strength and then we pop off. What then? I'd like to have a Reaper. A Reaper would make less sense. Well, if I it makes a little bit more sense, but I'm wondering if it's even necessary because we have been focusing on making our block decent, but our block is not decent right now. So I feel like it's good for our deck. You know, I haven't used it in a long time. So if I get rid of this, I actually draw three before I do Battle Trance. Okay, so <laughs> here's all that damage. Wouldn't that be nice to find the problem is it's only three apparitions again it's just only three if it was, maybe let's make it four why three apparitions i feel like this, the event became terrible it was five before right they brought down to three why not four i feel like it's a delicate balance but i, I don't think this ever gets picked anymore like hardly ever i'm just salty that i didn't draw one after i drew so many cards i didn't draw one I'm so salty. Anthony, I know I'm being salty, but what was the reason for seeing three over four? No, I'm just being salty. I didn't draw one. But I wasn't able to get Demon Form out, though. There it is, but now we don't have the Apparition. Oh, there, now we have the apparition, but we can't. <laughs> Yikes. Alright, you know, we're just not going to worry about Demon Form. Yeah, tell me what is picked at High Ascension. I, 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 I just have a feeling this hardly ever picked. I mean, I could be wrong. I, I haven't really been watching other players and stuff. Limit Break, wait, what, wait, wait, Chrissy, Chrissy, you talked about Limit Break Plus, right? We also have Apotheosis, that's amazing. We don't even want Limit Break though, right? Warcry is amazing because we can use, oh, uh, we don't have Havoc. But Warcry is still pretty useful, so I can, I like Warcry Plus a lot. Limit Break, unnecessary, I feel like. Because we do want to end up still playing Demon Form, right? I thought this was amazing. Um, I'll get rid of a strike, maybe. It's for, gets picked twenty percent of the time. Twenty one percent of the time now. So 
Sword of the Ring as a way to dump our strength that we're going to be getting. We got Twin Strike and Whirlwind. Let's keep the decks the way it is. I don't want to add too many cards. We have Apparition now too. So Apparition makes a lot of sense with Limit Break especially. So now I have the Sentinel, Sentinel Trick at play. So we got a Whirlwind. This could be a Whirlwind turn with no strength. Is it worth? Doing 42 damage. I think I have a Toxic Egg, right? I don't want to take damage here. I'm going to full block. Which is... Well, if I take two damage, it's fine. Because we're going to heal regardless. So let's go ahead and get the Inflame out at least. But now I would definitely enjoy... um Reaper. Not the information is a curse. <laughs> Sentinel is a beautiful thing once the dragon bases out. War cry again. I'm all about it. Only problem with Warcry twice is that. Yeah, it doesn't feel good when you're playing twice like that. It doesn't feel good. Problem, another thing is that, like. Hmm. These apparitions are fine. I want to look for Demon Form. Or Arpotheosis, or something like that. Things, I feel like apparitions. I suppose they'll let me get like Dark Embrace out or something, right? But wouldn't we rather like do Uppercut, kill this guy, and then Apparition? And the Dark Embrace doesn't even matter? The thing about Dark Embrace is that I have True Good Sentinel coming up. And I feel like I'm gonna need some Dark Embrace just so I can get through some awkward turns. Hmm. You still have apparitions plenty? So we can headbutt to get more card draw. We can use headbutt. So since we have Dark Embrace, we can use True Grit, Sentinel, and use headbutt to draw what we want to draw. Which might be apparition or might just be battle trance so we can get. Apotheosis. Mm. Dragon Brace ended up being super, super crucial. We're out of apparitions though, right? So now I gotta strike one for the kill. <clears throat> Beautiful. Blood veins. Mm. Is 
the experience of apparition with this thing does not see fun at all. So apparition before was pretty broken. We all can agree with that, right? Apparition before was pretty broken. Um, now it's taking 21% of the time. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I'll go for the weekend, but I, I want to get Dragon Brace out. I wish that Dragon Brace was upgraded. Let's do True Grit. I, think, I want to take the deck out to find, um, let's do Limit Break Scaling. There's an argument to be made to just get, get rid of Decay with my my life, and then use trigger on a strike, so I can thin out the deck even more. Let me break again. Can you imagine? I can start doing some. I can start buttering it up a little bit, right? We're about to get some bonkers um, scaling. I really like this combo right here, although, yeah, I like this combo because I, I don't care about losing that. So this is pretty decent damage, but is it premature? Should we do apparition first? Okay, well, let me see. Let me just do the math. This is going to be two hundred damage. How about we just keep it sensible? 160 damage. Don't split them just yet. Because next time we have headbutt for the limit break, right? Oh no, I shuffled the deck. Feels bad. I mean, now we could go or we could just wait for the limit break again. I guess I could just do this and wait. I could just wait. Wait. No, I should definitely go now. This is awkward because maybe I should do True Grit just to see what else I can draw. Before I do Battle Trance. Oh, Battle Trance is drawing for it. I'm going to do this just in case. Fiendfire is interesting here, right? Because if we do Fiendfire... Yeah, you're right, though. We had, like, Echo Form for Apparitions. We had Exhumes. Exhum on Ironclad. Exu uh, Apparitions are pretty broken on Ironclad in particular because you had Barricade, Entrenched, Scaling. So you just do, like, Apparitions and Barricade, Entrenched to Oblivion and win the game. Or for Strength Scaling. <clears throat> Silent had Nightmare as well. So what do we got? So Emily is uh, AOE. Don't need that. I think Fiendfire is interesting as a way to dump strength, or as a way to get a lot of card draw and potential energy because of Sentinel. So if I hit Sentinel, I get energy and card draw with Dark Embrace. I think Fiendfire is potentially be very interesting and as you know has good synergy with the deck in terms of strength scaling plus the ability to draw from exhausting. And if we get Funeral Pain, that could become block as well. Sorry about the gas, but it, I mean, it could be a skip, but... Okay, so now Running Pyramid is very interesting. Uh, Running Pyramid is broken, I feel like, because we can hold onto Apparitions. We can also use Running Pyramid as a way to hold onto Fiendfire. With Dragon Brace already played, we also can hold it with Limit Break. I see a lot of good things about Running Pyramid. It was kind of a snap pick. Felt like a good pick, though. Should've done Battle Trance first, maybe? Now, I can hold on to Whirlwind, right? And wait till I get Strength and then do Whirlwind after the fact? Or I just do it now, because it's still decent damage now? But of course, there is like the consideration that Whirlwind is going to kill them easily once you have Strength, but it's... I 
let's do this real quick. Uh, let's draw. There's your gain. We don't have to, we don't have to use that person right now. I just freed out my hand so I can draw more cards. It's a whirlwind waiting room. You didn't get it? Oh. Headbutt, right? Okay. Nah, I don't even need it at this point. Corruption. Corruption seems very interesting in this deck. Get a rare relic, upgrade all cards you no longer heal. Two curses. I have blue candles, so do I care about the curses? We have 999 gold, right? So we can hit that shop. Forces us to a, a two leap path. Or one leap path. To a second shop. So it's two shops plus one force me early. Let's do it. Apparition. Okay. So Dark Embrace is good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do I want to take damage here? Hmm. What would I trigger it if I take damage here? It's only two damage, right? I want to keep corruption because I can just use this to play my whole deck and win. Maybe Twin Strike's not necessary. Uh, that's the lesser of two evils. I think Whirlwind will keep that one instead. Alright, so there's a problem here with just drawing too much, but I really need to find Apparition. One, two, three. So, not, so I need to find. Um, I'll use this now. I need to find Apotheosis. Well, that's a big Fiendfire. So Fiendfire could just win outright. Uh, problem here is I don't have any strength. Team Fire is probably pretty good though. Yeah, I need a, a way to uh, one, two, three. S lethal. Let me find Apotheosis earlier. Anger. So anger is interesting in that once I get rid of everything, especially with corruption and all the stuff, dump my strength. But I don't need that. What we got? Purity? Purity is interesting. So purity can exhaust the hand that's all clunked up. And with Dark Embrace out, I'm drawing five cards again. So it's situational. Of course I'd have to have Dark Embrace out already. But I think once I have Dark Embrace out, then purity is fine. Just to get rid of some stuff that's clunking me up. But I can see myself not liking it either. Because if I have a hand where it's like purity, corruption, war cry, let me break. It gets kind of awkward. This is, this is too conditional. Whereas I think Sling of Courage is okay, since we have a lead fight in Act 4 and a lead fight right now. You know, mine. Hey, what's up, Allergic Chocolate? How you doing, buddy? I like the Sling of Courage. Now, we can do Flex. So flex becomes a little bit better with Runic Pyramid Limit Break, because you could use this to scale Limit Break with Flex. We already have Inflame, and we already have um, Demon Form, which Demon Form tends to be pretty awkward. Um, we could take the Flex with the Limit Break just to have some really quick scaling. Or we can just rely on Inflame. Peace Pepper Curses? We can Peace Pepper Curses because we can only rest, right? So that's actually really valuable. Um, I think Purity is interesting, but we can remove a Normality now. We got the Peace Pepper, but we're going to save the rest of the gold for the next shot. Question card? It's a little late for the question card to be relevant. Yeah, we have Toxic Egg, but it's kind of expensive. I think I can hold off. Oh, shit. One thing I'm thinking about is maybe our potions are not good. Like, I would take a Strength Pot instead. Maybe Gambler's Root, but Strength Pot at least has a... Yeah, holding Flex for Limit Break seems okay, right? Question card for... Re yeah, we, we want to find Reaper. Yeah. Yo, wait, wait, we just got two subs, guys. 
Thank you. Well, Aquafil, thank you. Welcome to the germ pool, man. Appreciate the support for the Twitch Prime. Question card for Reaper is an interesting consideration. Question card for Reaper. Well, let's see. Oh, shit. There's going to be one, two, maybe like three, four, five, six guaranteed fights. I don't think it's worth it. You think Flex is good here, especially with Corruption? I think Flex with Limit Break helps me get it. Oh, thank you, Kev Deco with the Twitch Prime as well. Welcome to the Journal, man. The last thing I want is to not have... Oh, it's okay. I'm okay with this for now. Ooh. Oh, so there's a Purity after all? Okay, I'm taking it, even though I shouldn't have... I'm gonna have a dead draw with that. Uh oh. I'm gonna have a dead draw because of that. That's an apparition. Apparition's broken. Can I just fiend fire the boss? <laughs> okay. Wait. Just get this out of the way because I don't. I don't want to be limited with my thoughts. Okay. So let's say we do. So we, for sure we're doing apparition, right? Feed fire is how much right now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Add two more. This going to be one more. It's going to be 99. Not bad. Let's do this right now. Uh, should we just do war card first? Okay. Actually, I don't, I don't mind losing the defense in flame. Adds more damage. Imagine if we can get like vulnerable, right? I don't want to lose apparition. That sucks. It's gonna be thirteen times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not bad. One hundred and four. Yeah, we can save it. You're right. I don't have to do it now. I don't know why I keep... I can hold on to it. Why am I trying to do it now? So silly. You're totally right. I can just hold on to it. And now we have Apparition for another turn. Wait for Limit Break and then get lethal. Let's just wait. One more turn. I can start buttering up, I suppose. Let's do this. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, now it should be good, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 times 25. Pretty good. Matryoshka. Ancient pot. I don't want any of these cards, right? Yeah. Ancient pot. You should be good if we end up being like steroid or like a dexterity or something, but for now it's not that great. Do I care about strength pot more than ancient pot? What does it do for us in the deck? Only if it only ancient pot would only be good for other potions, I would say. Oh, there's a shop here, there's a shop here. So this shop has an elite with it, so that I feel like our deck's pretty good at elites, right? So I'm gonna go do this shop instead. Honestly, I shouldn't be removing normality. I think I should be removing strikes because I can just get rid of normality already with blue candle. But getting rid of strikes means so what's happening right now is that I'm having my hands clogged. So if I get rid of two strikes, then I can just get rid of normality for one HP. And then the decks seem so much better if I get rid of the strikes. It's okay though. Key? Sapphire key, right? Yeah. We already, we already recalled. See we headbutt? For living break? That's pretty good. If 
you draw into normality, you if you can get rid of it with the volcano, then it doesn't matter anymore. Pretty sure that's how it works. Do I mind taking damage here? I don't mind taking damage, right? Hmm. Let's. We're gonna have. All right, we're gonna basically like smack this guy around once we get the limit break going, which I gotta start doing. How much is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so eight times thirty-nine. It's getting close. Say I do this first, right? I should probably do shockwave first. My bad. I should probably just do shockwave first, right? I can save him for lethal. I don't like rushing this. Keep rushing this crap. 38 times 9. Not quite. What if we just do shockwave? That changes things, right? 62 times 9. That's more like it. Sir Boomerang? Pass. So we would be good against the heart though, right? So I can choose between Sundial and Vajra. Okay, now this is interesting because Vajra helps me scale into Limit Break quicker. Sundial is, is pretty good for our deck. Well, not really because we don't really recycle our deck too much considering... I c Wait, but I... C oh, yeah, I can't choose. Okay. Oh, I can't choose the Sundial. You can't choose. It's, it's attached. We're gonna do this. Even this might bite my booty off, but oh, thank you so much, Hammer, for the Twitch Prime, buddy. Thank you for the follow as well, Larger Cosmo. Let's see, if we get some card draw here. Hey, it's an apparition. Do we care? Yeah, sure, why not? Look at that blue candle Sentinel puzzle combo. Okay. Deal forms out. Want to get maybe Dark Embrace out? Let's see what we got here. Ah, uh, that was a mistake, boys. That was a big mistake. That was a big mistake. Not bad. Your whirlwind. It's doing. It's not quite there yet. It's been sixty. We we need another apparition. I can't guarantee that I get an apparition here. If I can find Dark Embrace, then we can win right here. Let's say I do in. Ah, uh, what well, could do? Well, I could do Purity on Sentinel, right? Purity on Sentinel means I get six times fifteen, which is ninety. Okay, I'm curious to see what we draw. One sec. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Let's so see. We do it in Flame. That is going to be eighteen times five. It's getting there. 90 again. Now, if we do Apotheosis, we're getting one energy th to pay for that. Right? And now we have 19 times 6. Pretty good. Just want to make sure I'm doing this right. 60... Sorry, yeah, 19 times 6, okay. Yeah, seems good. Okay. Nah, no battle chance, fuck that. Second wind? Ah. Uh, second wind's good once we have Dark Embrace. Yeah, I don't really need it. All this gold. 
30 entrenched. I think our decks perform pretty well. I'm just worried about... I can't really one-shot the heart, so I need to have, like, consistent plays. We need to... So, with the heart, Fiendfire's not gonna be enough. We're gonna need, like, Twin Strike again, and Twin Strike again. We need. We also need consistent defense. Because against the heart, the Apparitions are gonna last for, what, three turns? And then from there... So, let's say we do 200 damage every three turns we do Apparition. Let's say that. We still have to do, like... It's gonna be difficult. I'm trying to think. I gotta prepare for the heart now. Oh, this is awkward. This is really awkward. I don't like this turn. I should probably, I should, probably should have kept the entrench. That's the sentinel instead. I should definitely have kept the entrench sentinel instead. I hate not being able to play. I, I should have kept Warwick because that, that's a good way to dump damage, right? But. Okay. I like this. I dig this, I dig this. We can wait for a little bit break. Do we have Headbutt coming up? We have Headbutt coming up. Interesting. Oh, I should've done True Good Sentinel. I'm so silly. I had True Good Sentinel that turn. I'm do that right now. I guess I could do corruption. I could just do purity, all that stuff. Or we can just wait till next turn and win. Fiend fire. Yeah, I should have done triple sentinel that that same turn. All these strength pots, my god. I feel like Headbutt's very good in this deck because with Dragon Brace, Headbutt becomes a superstar. Um. Yeah, Entrench would have helped with my, all my. Entrench Plus would help all my apparitions use up. I gotta think about, okay, post apparition gameplay. Because we're not one shot in the heart. Um, we're not one shot in the heart. We need to have something that's equally as. We, so, post apparition gameplay, we do Corruption, Dark Embrace, go through all our block that way. I guess Corruption, Dark Embrace after the apparitions is what's gonna do it for us. Headbutt seems to be performing pretty well, though. Because Headbutt brings Limit Break back, and with Dark Embrace, or just even like these little, like, one, little cantrips like Warcry and stuff, and Battle Trance, seems pretty good. So, I wouldn't mind a second Headbutt, right? I wouldn't mind a second Headbutt. It might be stupid with this, let me see. It only sucks that when you don't... So, Headbutt only makes sense... Headbutt only makes sense when you, um... Like, obviously, once your deck's already in a position... I don't know, like, there are times where Headbutt will be awkward early on. You can also even use Headbutt to get Battle Trance again, right? So, just keep digging. So, it has uses. Game block? The Final Pain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do second Headbutt. We have to hit that shot because we have a lot of gold. So Bronze Ghost is very good. I think self forming Clay is very good. All this is very good against the heart. Offering is very good because we can help find our... The offering is fantastic. These are all very good. So Bronze Ghost, self forming Clay, Offering. Are, they, are these not like the, the heart killers right here? So self forming Clay, we add a Juggernaut to the mix. That's pretty nice, right? Or is it only... It's like It's not... A single use of block, it's, uh, it's one big chunk. Okay. Another thing is to remove strikes, like I said. So, oh, actually, I forgot that the campfires are at token, so this will remove two right here. If I go to this path, I remove two. I think the shop is better than removing two, but still, gotta keep that in mind. And if I remove two strikes, this is actually getting pretty good, because we're gonna toke out another strike in Act 4, so that's gonna be down to three strikes, no strikes, and then we're gonna have just a lot of defense, which actually, defense are pretty bad considering we have apparitions. But I like falling back on them. They'll take your asylum. 
If I get them both though, I, get, get, so I like offering, but if I get, I like bronze coats. So if I get sulfur and clay, I won't have enough to remove, which I guess is not that big of a deal because we can toke. Or we also won't have something for act four shop. I think sulfur and clay is very good. If, well, are we ever going to be in a situation where we're taking that many hits to the face? Not really with apparition, right? So I feel like with apparition, this is not that good. And removing for 150 seems pretty bad considering I, I could also just get an act for a shop. Um like yes, I would like to get rid of one more strike, but act for a shop might be something. If we don't block that person, then yes, yeah, suffering clay is nice. So if, if I'm taking a multi-hit, but I don't have disarm, so I can't really afford to take multi-hits. Okay, this is good for the multi-hit turns on that the heart. I do think it's very good. But I'm thinking, okay, in a turn where I'm getting multi-hit, let's say I do Apparition and don't block. You're right. I'll take it. You know, I like it. I like it. So I still get hit for 15, but that's like 15 times 3 is pretty good block. It's a really good block. Let's do some card draw. Does Demon form? I don't really have the energy for it. But at least we now we know it's here. Alright. That's... Instead of doing Apparition now, I, since there's, there's had more value later on, I could just do like this. Alright. So then next turn I can do like... Even for Apparition. And then the turn after that we'll do like... Well, I'm just doing purity here. Although Hepa is very good, but maybe I purify the War Cry so I can draw more. Like, what I want to draw? I want to draw into my Dragon Base and Sentinels. So, I'm do purity on all of this. And then we can do, um, we got the Dragon Brace. <laughs> I wonder if we can just kill this guy. We got a lot of good stuff. We got Dark Embrace. Well, Dragon Brace is a, lot, a little awkward here. So if I do like limit break, headbutt, apparition, I get limit break again in my hands. I feel like there's no way we lose this. The inflame fell, fell necessary because I could just done limit break, headbutt, and that's probably better. But corruption is going to be huge here. Corruption is going to be like, disgustingly massive. It's, it's just gross. How good corruption is right now. Technically, I could have done headbutt, shrug it off, limit break, and then do it again. But this is totally fine for strength. Okay, that's it. That's easy. I wonder if I could just kill him. I'm not quite right. That's nah, not quite. Curious to see how much damage we can do to this guy. We might be able to kill him with a fiend fire. Seventy-five times nine. <clears throat> Six hundred thirty something, right? I think my math might be wrong, but it's been a while. Easy. So Stereopod seems to be more sense than Strength Pot, I would say, because... Wait, let's look at Burning Pact real quick. Burning Pact... is getting... three card draw and removing strikes that I don't like, potentially, and that three card draw is pretty significant when we're looking for Apparitions and when we're looking for our... you know, Limit Break, uh, Apotheosis and stuff. So Stereopod. Stereopod seems good because if we can hold into Limit Break, we can get more immediate scaling. Let me do that. Another shop. Huh. Toki Toki. What's up, Pancake Tam? How you doing? Okay. 
This fight's a little awkward. If I do say so myself. It's important that I find an apparition right now, right? Or at least our demon form. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a bad turn for us. We don't have ways to heal this back up either. I can't draw a sensor anymore because I'd use battle trance. I was gonna use I think I might do the weak move uppercut. I was gonna do sensitive, but I think I might want to do the weak move uppercut. I think I'm gonna do the weak move uppercut here. Sensor is nice to keep around once you get Dragon Brace out, but so there's a limb break. There's a demon form. Alright. Do we strength pot for this? I wanna save all the potions for the um like I don't think we need strength pot. Okay, let's do inflame the break. Well we have six cards we can play. Okay, let's let's look at this real quick. I need to free up some of these cards. Let's see if we do inflame limit break headbutt offering limit break sentinel. Let's play inflame, just get it out of the way. First off. Five cards left, okay. We could just do block block limit break. Because we're drawn into aberrations at some point. So I don't mind this. Okay. Oh, this is bad. Because... Oh, this is fine, actually. Let me explain why. Alright, let's say I don't get my apparitions, which is possible. We got Dark Embrace Corruption as a backup. Now we just win. Flying colors, guys. I don't like being this low in life, but it's not that low. So by keeping the deck my hand full like this, I never really cycle my deck, so I can keep doing um I can keep doing limit break pretty easily. That's what that's the that's the, also the benefit of having two two headbutts in your deck, right? And what's interesting here, I'm gonna get rid of this. What's interesting here is we're about to do a twin strike fiend fire for lethal. 100 something plus another obscene amount of damage. It's 61 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Seems good. Cool. I don't think it might be an issue. Okay. Perfectly fine term for offering. Big full ass hand. Okay, that's a demon form. Hmm. Alright. Let's see if we can block without using apparitions here. Or maybe it doesn't matter since we have demon form out already. Let's just... Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, this is gonna be... Okay, let's see. Hmm. Let's put the fiend fire on top. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Okay. I need to f see my friends one, two, three, and four. My friends one, two, three are kind of bad. I could see myself dying to act four elite. I could even see myself dying to the heart too. If I don't get lucky. My deck's kind of fat. Uh, this is problematic. This is problematic right now. I 
need to free up some space in my hands. Hmm. Offering just gives me so many cards, that's the thing. I do Sentinel block 19. I'm only taking 7. I wish I had Reaper. Say I do limit break. Okay, maybe I should have. Any block. Pretty good, huh? Pretty decent. So now we should get guaranteed apparition next turn, and we're gonna use that opportunity to get um, another proc of limit break somehow. Oh, we can just use, use apparition now. Apotheosis, Apotheosis is my bad. We have a lot of. So if I can kill him now, let's say we can kill him. Okay, let's say we do apparition whirlwinds, right? And then we try to kill this guy with like strikes. And then the next turn, for the next phase, we just have fiend fire and get fiend fire lethal. So um, it's okay if we do things like. If I get rid of apparition. Now, let me see something real quick. I don't mind taking damage actually. Um, because we're gonna win very soon. This affects my da my life for the next round, right? It's okay. Yeah, I could I could have version so I, it's a little healthier for next round. You're right, but so from eighteen to one, how big of a difference is that for the next round? Let's see. So thirty three. Whoa, whoa, I've been like what, like 37 or something? This is low enough that maybe I want to rest, but I get to toke out a strike. I think it's toking out the strike still feels better. So we're gonna be at 35 once we enter the fight. We're gonna be at 35 once you enter the fight, and we have apparitions and stuff. 35 versus 42, 7 HP difference. Doesn't seem that good. We need food for the fiend fire. But I also need to make sure I... So the one thing is, the reason why I'm token is because I need to make sure that my... Oh, that's unfortunate. We need to make sure that we get to our important stuff within the first three turns. And that wasn't really happening earlier. Well, this is very awkward. This is extremely awkward. No, because turns 1, 2, and 3 are, are very important. Oh man, I, I have too many cards now. I have too many cards. I really want to... <laughs> Crap, dude. I want to do like troop... Okay, I want to save trooper for sentinel, but... Uh, I need to start digging somehow. 
But I can't do offering. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. No, I'll be fine here. Um, I'll use apparition if anything, but I'm trying to save the apparitions for... It's important that I get my demon form, and I need to get some strength scaling right away, so... I can save apparition for one big turn, and then I can just get lethal with whirlwind or something, or free fire. But right now, this is weird because... Hmm, I need space. So I could do get rid of Ascender's Bane. Yeah, I don't mind the fact that it makes me cost one health. I, I care about the fact that I won't draw full hands, right? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's say I do Ascender's Bane and then Apparition Offering. Is that the best play? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Seven. Okay. Um, we didn't find what we need to find. Okay, I can do. I can do this again, and then we need to look for at least limit break, right? One, two, three. We need. We every turn is precious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We draw two cards off of this. It's not full value, but I guess it digs for something. We struck it off first, but by doing better turns, it leaves room for demon form. But demon form is kind of slow. If we shrug it off, I can still find Limit Break. I, it leaves room for Demon Form if I do Battle Trance now. But by doing this, I find Limit Break quicker, and I think Limit Break is a more important one. That's kind of good. Okay. So we got Dragon Bridge, which is fine. And, um... Okay, so we didn't get our Limit Break. But this is fine because we still have Apparition, we have Dragon Brace, and we are in position with Corruption to kind of just win. Um... This is fine. Totally fine. There's Limit Break. Beautiful. Uh, we have headbutt, we have limit break, headbutt, limit break into a uh, whirlwind lethal the following turn. Bringing back trigger is not bad, but by bringing back trigger, I get a lot of energy with sentinel, but this is fine. Whirlwind is lethal the next turn, right? Am I, am I looking at that? Is it really though? It may not be, actually. What am I saying? Oh, we need to get a way to get rid of the uh, Sentinel. Actually. I should have done Warcry there. Yeah, we need a way to get rid of... We need, we need to draw Corruption. Corruption would be... Corruption is winning. For Whirlwind. I need Corruption. Okay. We should get rid of cards, and we, we need to get Corruption. Ooh. No, Corruption's winning with Whirlwind, right? Well, so this is drawing... a whole hand with a whole bunch of energy. Alright, buddy. Guys, after this, I gotta walk my dog, so let me, uh... I'm actually gonna take a five-minute break before we do the heart. Here's what we're gonna do. If I do Fiendfire, I draw a whole new hand, and I can do Corruption Shenanigans. Hmm. So, we're gonna have... When we, if we do Fiendfire, we're gonna have six energy and a whole new hand. Uh, I feel like that's enough to kill this guy. But, if I'm being safe, what I do is nothing. And I wait for a Corruption and just win with Whirlwind. Like, if I do Strike Strike here... And corruption. Well, I need to make sure I can draw corruption. It's one, two. Yeah. I'll, well, there's a chance I don't draw corruption. But I'm gonna draw four cards. <laughs> there's a chance I don't draw corruption.
I think this is safer. Uh, if I don't play, if I play World 1 now, then I guarantee I draw corruption. I'm gonna take the risk. We can do a headbutt on limit break. And this is how much? 72 times 7. Seems good, eh? 72 times 7. Evolve Shock with Body Slam. Hmm. Shock wave. Shock wave plus. Hmm. Shock with plus. I'm gonna pass. Body slam? Nah. Swim stone? Okay. Essence of steel? No. So, guys, add the walkman dogs real quick. Five minutes. Just sit here and just there in anticipation. Be right back. Thank you guys for hanging in there. Welcome back to me. But, I'm back. Thank you guys for being patient. Just walking my dogs. Um. So, I don't know what you guys are talking about. The first place to do this to myself. You don't do purity because purity does. Since Hinnabon only happens when you hurt yourself. It happens when you hurt yourself, not when you just purely exhaust. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You guys know, okay. Whatever. My bad. Alright. A couple of options here. Offering's great. These are great oh. card draw options. Oh, these are great card draw options. Oh wait, by playing a card because of the beat of death. Oh, you're so right. Oh, you guys are smart. You guys are very smart. My bad. I, I missed that. Look at Mr. Dumb over here. This is gonna hurt. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. So here's an interesting concept. Here's an interesting concept, guys. I get rid of my defense, so I have bigger transfer battle trains, right? But these defenses are very useful once I have corruption out to do dark embrace shenanigans. Uh I think I have too much of a priority to find stuff right now. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, then I Okay, so maybe I don't have to do all to the defense. Okay, I'll get rid of defense. There's a limit break. That's a limit break. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm gonna, I want to do this now just to have space in my hands because I also want to do 200 damage a turn. So that's not 200 damage, but it's, it's decent, right? It's important that I do 200 damage a turn because I had to get to that final 200 damage point and we're in great position. So he's looking to do 3 damage to me if I do Apparition. Luckily, that beat of the drum shenanigans, self from clay, which I wasn't thinking about at first, allowed me to almost be able to block here very, very minimally. It's like, if I do demon form, sentinel, demon form seems maybe unnecessary, but okay, let's say I do, do demon form. Actually, let's do dark embrace. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Very interesting. Let's say I do demon form, sentinel. Alright, we are... Minus four of whatever we're gonna have, so it's instead of twenty-one, it's gonna be seventeen, which means I'm taking, I'm taking um, one and then another. Well, I'm not taking thirteen, but I'm I'm gonna get a lot of block for the following turn. Taking thirteen is a little, hmm, but I think we take the thirteen now, and then apparitions for another time. So I'm gonna do this. Of course, holding up to central is not bad. I hold on to Sentinel, I can use that for later on. No, we're gonna do Sentinel. Let's 
I think, let me slow down here, let me focus, because... Okay. Then we have... He's doing 50. What's important here is that I can do... I need to get Apotheosis, but what I can do... Dark Embrace. I want to put Dark Embrace. Another thing I want to do, though, is... Apparition, Headbutt on the Limit Break. War Cry, Limit Break. And do some kind of damage, so that... Well, this is a Weaken. So, if I do Weaken of 50, let's look at the numbers. Huh. Alright, we have a lot of options. Let me let me think this through. Oh, he's already weakened. What am I talking about? He's already weakened. Okay, okay, okay. I really hope I can get Apotheosis so Dark Embrace is not so pricey. Dark Embrace with Corruption is going to be very important. But right now, maybe Headbutt is the play. Do we Headbutt now? Does Apparition make all the beat of the drum down to two as well? We're 100% doing Apparition. The question is, do I do Apparition before Dark Embrace? Do I play Dark Embrace at all? Or am I planning to just do like Headbutt, War Cry, Limit Break, Headbutt for Limit Break again? So basically what I'm trying to do is headbutt, limit break, headbutt the limit break again. So then we have limit break the following turn. We're going to be at 20, 52 strength, which means we can, we have to, we have to do damage along the way, which is why it's important that I do headbutt and then another headbutt after. So I'm still doing damage because then we have to do 200 for next turn and then 200 to kill. <clears throat> if I'm 100% if I'm doing Apparition, I might as well just do it first. Wow, it's another Apparition. If I do Headbutt that again, it feels like the right play. Okay. So we have a free turn here. In theory. Well, it's not a free turn. <laughs> I mean... Okay. We can take... We can take up to... I can't leave myself at... I should have put a block on top of my deck, right? I can't leave my yeah. I need I need to block really bad. What if I do burning pack to look for like a, a defense? Yo, thank you, Thomas Rock, for the five hundred bits. Thank you, Thomas. Appreciate that, man. So, if we do burning pack for the wound, we can maybe find a defense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I'll draw two cards. If I can find a defend, then I can play Limit Break. I won't be able to do Uppercut for the weekend, but we, we're trying to do upper Apparitions anyway. So we can do like Inflame Limit Break. And then we have Apparitions for the next following turns. And what we need to do is 200 damage next turn. And then 200 damage again. Well, the problem is I need three turns to kill him now. Ugh. So I need to do a lot of damage with the Apparition first turn, and then we need to do Apparition again for a lot of damage, and then we need to kill him on the third turn. Hmm. I still haven't been able to play Dark Embrace. My whole thing is that I want to play Battle Trans Burning Pack to get rid of the wounds, but also because I want to find a defense so that I can do this without taking too much. If I do this, if I say I do that, that, I'm taking four down to six. The turn will be another free. The turn will be another free turn. Yes, it will. So, but I need to make sure I do damage with the apparition turns. So, ah, uh, I'm doing this. Damn, didn't get. That's really unfortunate, guys. That's really unfortunate. 
Her draws are pretty bad right now. Huh. I think we'll be alright, but... Draws are pretty bad. We need to get the Apotheosis and stuff. Do think Flim's not worth your damage? Probably not. But I need to get... Something out of my hands. So, maybe the strike is worth it, so I have a little bit... The strike is 93 damage, and that seems kind of worth it. We're down to 4. As, ah, we're down to 4, but here's the problem. If, if I don't get a block... I don't, I'm not doing an uppercut because the weakest is not important. I'm aberration the next two turns. The vulnerable, I guess the vulnerable is important, but for me... I'm trying to free up space in my hand, ultimately, and I have limited energy because of Void, so I'm playing things that are cheap because I need to free up space. Yeah, so if I play Strike now, if, if I don't draw block, I'm dead. Because of, uh... Oh, is this the multi-hit turn? Oh, I have six block next turn, what I'm talking about. Because of Suffer McClay. We're fine. Suffer McClay carries. Okay. Got Apotheosis. Now we just win. Next turn is multi hit. That's fine. Because on that turn, we're going to have Corruption. We need to do a lot of damage now. I want to do Apotheosis. I want to do Dark Embrace. I want to do Apparition. But then I'm left with nothing in terms of cards. So I, I want to be able to do damage this turn, so I suppose like uppercut. So like, I wish I had my sense on this right now. Once we draw back into deck, we're great. Like, so once I do like... Once I do Dark and Bridge Corruption and start going into my Sentinels, we can, we're totally fine. The only problem is here, the following turn. I want to play this. Okay. This just does damage because I want to be able to kill him within two turns. So this actually makes it so that next turn I have to do 200 damage, and then the turn after 200 damage, and we're fine. We win. So this is actually fine. I would like to get rid of the slime and maybe do like Dark Embrace. Maybe this is better, like to do slime and get rid of Dark Embrace. So we can actually draw five cards. It seems pretty worth it, but this makes it so that he's in two turn lethal. Yeah, so I have a free turn. I can do damage, and then the turn after I still have time. Exactly. So no, because he has look reflex. I have bronze skills. Bronze, bronze skills, bronze skills, bronze skills. But, um... I'm trying to think. I may be doing slime, dark embrace, and then... It takes 3 turn lethal, but... We'll do this. I'm, I'm happy with this play. Alright. So, 2 turn lethal. So, one of those turns could be... Yeah, so one problem right there is that... Oh, uh, this is problematic. This might be a corruption turn. Oh, can I turn after? Interesting. Oh, you're right. Okay, so if we do... Defend first and then Apparition. Well, let's say I do... Apparition first. Then Defend, Defend. That's probably better. We take two damage now, right? But this gives me block for next turn. Is that significant though? Not probably not. Hmm. Let me see. Okay, so I do apparition now. I take two, right? But it gives me block for next turn, and then this makes my defense only to take two less off of it. If I do defend first, then apparition defend. I'm getting. Six less block. We're gonna have eighteen block minus six. So defend makes it so it's seven. Then apparition 
Makes it so it's 6, and then 9 is 15. Perfect block. This is perfect block. But it, I think it's important that I have 2 block next turn. Because I can't guarantee that I'm going to get block. So if I take the damage now, Apparition... No, you don't want to double defend Apparition. That's bad. Because that actually makes you only have... You have... 9... This is the better play, this is fine. I can't even afford to do it in flame. Burns two damage as well, exactly. Well burns one damage, so we're 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 gonna live two life. Ah, oh, thank god, thank god we got rid of that see, Lampa is actually doing some good good work. Ah, uh, so burns won't do one damage. So if I do in flame and down to thirteen, burn makes me twelve, and then I live with one HP. I think I have to dark embrace now because I need to make sure I have enough. We're down to one HP, but that's okay, right? Because we have block from self from clay. So from McClay block, right? So from McClay. One. Now with one HP, we have so from McClay. That's fine. Totally fine. Now. Limit break. He's not tied to be sure. Wait, no, but now I have one HP. I need to have I need to make sure I have block. So I do twin strike now and then fiend fire the following turn. Now I just pass. And then we just shrug it off fiend fire. I could do it in flame, why not? It's guaranteed lethal, dude. So just pass, block, kill. A GG! There we go, boy. Silence. Si si science. Scienceless win. Alright. Three more to go. Feel the momentum coming, though. That was a long one. Oh, that was a long one.